Greetings and blessings to all of God's people. I greet all of you with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God. My friends as well as my enemies. Today is Wednesday, November the 18th, 2015. The time being 6.42 a.m. Central Time or Charleston, Missouri Time. Focus on this here. One uh, return address for a reason. It's called the United States Department of Justice. Happen to be the Civil Rights Division. They have uh, different divisions and sections. They have the FBI. They have the Educational Department. But this is called the Special Litigations. It's 950 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. That's for those that is not familiar with this particular agency, especially you in Charleston, Missouri, and any place else in the United States. When you're going up against people like I am here in Charleston, Missouri, a corrupted Charleston R1 school district, a corrupted Charleston, Missouri police department, a corrupted Charleston, Missouri city hall, a corrupted Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County courthouse, even with the judges, not all, but we know one for sure. Even with these, this NAACP president, Arthur Cassell, here in Charleston, Missouri, who's been the president for 20 years. And all, and all those that's in that, uh, them churches that's in that so-called newly formed unified coalition against violence in Charleston, Missouri, that was formed in front of the Mississippi County Courthouse here in Charleston, Missouri on October the 29th, 2015. 26 churches in this town. Why only five out of the 26 is a part of that coalition? It's supposed to be a group of clergymen, law enforcement agencies, and concerned citizens. It's only 15, I mean, we have 15 blacks and eight whites in that picture. And it's nine, 5,947 people in this town. Where is the other 9,000? Uh, I mean, 5,924 people that they supposed to be concerned citizens. See, this group which is ran by Bobby Hearns, who uncle was the governor here, Warren E. Hearns, Warren E. Hearns' wife, Betty Hearns, Warren E. Hearns, rest in peace, Warren E. Hearns' wife, Betty Hearns, was a formal state, Missouri state representative. She didn't win her last term. My point is, Bobby Hearns, Arthur Cassell and all them other preachers, Sherry Maxwell from the Lincoln University, Sykes and Extension, in her group, Lester Gillespie from the Suzanne Wesley Learning Center located here in Charleston, Missouri, in two locations, and one in East Prairie, I believe still, in their groups, and all these sellout blacks. We can't forget the Charleston R1 school district if I didn't mention them already. But see, they claim that they're a unified, unified coalition against violence. They, they word is the only ones count out of all these other citizens. It's supposed to be concerned citizens. But when you read this letter, these people here supersedes this group here. These people can put a judge in jail. Follow me now. Let's see if we can see this seal up here. That's the Department of Justice. Let's see who it's to. Oh, this is to the person that they, these group, this group here in Charleston, Missouri is up against. Who having these judges to hear cases that they shouldn't hear. They should let no other judges hear. But let's see what this say. Dear Mr. Ivy, thank you for your letter. The special litigation section, 
relies on information from community members now, y'all. See, they not like this group here in Charles, Missouri. Only certain people is considered community members. But community members to identify civil rights violations. See, if these same people that's running that collision is violating our civil rights, do you think that they going to stand on it? No, they ain't. But let me tell you what these people say. continue to say. Each week, each week now, not every 19 years like this group just formed this uh, collision here, coalition, we receive hundreds of reports of potential violations. We collect and analyze now. They collect and analyze. Analyze. They see if there's any, any merit to it. This information to help us select cases. They're going to select cases now. And we may also use this letter or this information to help us select cases. And we may also use this information as evidence in an existing case. There's plenty of existence cases here in Charles, Missouri, with all the thousands of paperwork that I sent to the Justice Department. We will review your letter to decide whether it is necessary to contact you for additional information. We do not have the resources to follow up on every letter. Did y'all hear that? They get thousands of letters. They can't respond to all letters. But God touched this letter. I prayed on this letter. Me and my minister and, and our uh, 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 membership, we prayed that God have somebody in this office take a look at this. I sent them documented facts about this town and all them people in that group. If y'all that's listening to this here, if you scared of them people, see, they didn't have a right to threaten Buck Whitney, Sergeant Percy. They didn't have no right to come in my house and take my kids on uh, May the 19th, a little bit after midnight, and, and, and uh, on, on, on May the 19th, 2008. See, they didn't have a warrant. They had an expo table when I went to court. Wasn't no judge there. I'm finna recommend or, 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 to, to get a copy of the recording that they had that day because they said it was a hearing heard, but it wasn't damn heard. See, children and family service get involved when you take children. Ain't nobody paid for when my daughter arm got broke when they came in here and illegally took my kids and gave them to a known drug addict female. Suzanne Wesley had a part of it because they had her down there in their shelter with Les Gillespie, knowing he knew it, and Sergeant Percy on, knowing he knew it. Both of them turned dates with her because she was sprung out on heroin and crack. Follow up on her. I had my children's back from her 70 days after y'all took her. My daughter's arm was broke. The children's hospital in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, were confirmed that it wasn't broke up under my Watch. It was broke up under the watch when y'all took her, illegally took her out of my, out of my house. Because her arm had been broken two weeks or more before I went and got her back. But it's a lot of other things that I done sent to that justice department, y'all. Showing them how when blacks get shot out here, the police don't even have a scene covered. You can't change that. If they kill me today, I got enough information in there. To send just about all of them to jail. Y'all take a look at this here. I'm not playing with them. I've been fighting against this cruel and evil system here in Charleston, Missouri for 19 years. It ain't too late for Keith Bradford to be investigated by this same office for killing that young black man November the 8th. 2011 here in Charleston, Missouri, after he had been tased two times. Sergeant Percy, we got you on record saying, why did you do that? You didn't have to do that, but you didn't tell that to the State Highway Patrol. Peace be still. 